the Tahina Expedition is getting a really cool toy. It's an underwater remote operated vehicle for video. And here's the three packages when they arrived, three big boxes. And the first thing we did was open up the boxes and you can see they were well packed. And inside of these were um, uh, luggage carriers like this. They're heavy duty plastic luggage carriers made by Pelican. They're waterproof. And here's all three of the uh, containers. Okay, this is Frank Taylor. I'm going to do the grand unveiling of my new toy. So here we go. Alright, that's the top. There it is. All right. Awesome. That's going to be awesome. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, so now we're going to open the rest of it. This should be the uh, control display. Oh, yeah. Here's a big LCD panel display. And these are controls for the unit. This is the joystick control. And you have various instrument settings. It has a little display here. Got a good close up. All built into this handy unit. This is for the power, for the hookup to the tether. That's all you need. Got some extra parts here. Pretty awesome. So we hook this up to that. And then what we have in here is the part that hooks them together. So let's do this. Here you see the tether. It's all set up on a reel. You crank it up. There's a crank here. You can deploy it as 250 feet of, of uh, tether. So we can go down 250 feet deep or, or some combination of depth and distance away from the boat. We get a bunch of extra parts I'll have to investigate. Mm -hmm. So this is it. Why don't you do a swing by of all the parts. Cool toys. Alright, thanks. Okay, here's the new video ray unit sitting on our chart table here on Tahina. And as you can see, this is an awesome little robot. It's a remote operated vehicle for underwater operation. Um, what we have here is on the front is a camera and two halogen lights that appear. And then down below here, this is a grappling hand. It opens up and it actually deploys outward a little bit. And then on the back here, you'll see two propellers, large propellers that are designed to maneuver the unit. And over here, this is where the tether cable attaches so that it can communicate with the surface and you can control it and send the video signal back up, of course. And also, nestled down here between the two props is yet another camera, and it has some LED lights for lighting. Um, on the top, is another propeller, a small propeller that's used to accelerate uh, descent so that you can descend more quickly or ascend. And uh, that's more or less the basics. Um, there's more to it, but uh, we're really excited to have this on board and hopefully soon we'll show some demonstrations of it in action.